The young 24-year-old Dutch central midfielder Donny van de Beek from Manchester United wants game time and wants to play football as we all know and he's always wanted that and now two teams are coming in for him on loan this January the likes of Crystal Palace and Patrick Vieira and Valencia from La Liga. This is huge news of course Fabrizio Romano just came out with this in the past couple of minutes. All of the big hitters are coming out with this Sky Sports everyone out there and of course Fabrizio coming out with this tweet. And of course, we all know Donny van de Beek wants to play football. He's come out saying it. And I do believe he needs to play and he needs to get in this Manchester United team and needs to show that he can break back into the Dutch national side. But Ralph Regnick is reluctant to let him go, as we all know as Manchester United fans. And Regnick wants him to stay. Of course, Manchester United are very weak and very low on midfielders and don't have a number of quality midfielders and a number of midfielders who are fit and healthy and can start. You're looking at Scott McTominay, Fred, Nemanja Matic, and it is very low numbers in the middle of the pitch. Of course, Paul Pogba is coming back from injury, but we don't know how long he'll be staying. But Donny van de Beek is the man in question here, guys. And Fabrizio came out with it just saying a couple of minutes ago that Donny van de Beek will decide his favorite straight loan solution in the next hours slash days. Crystal Palace are pushing as revealed here today. Vieira is the man who wants him. No rush. Important decision for Donny. Many clubs are interested like Valencia. Of course, we all know many clubs are interested in Donny van de Beek. Not surprised by Crystal Palace. Not surprised by Valencia. You know that Newcastle are going to be in on this, West Ham, all of the clubs out there want a young midfielder like Donny van de Beek who can play with the ball, who has amazing passing range, who can press and win the ball back, and is a fantastic midfielder. And I would be so excited to see if he can finally get a run of game times. For me, I know Ralph Ragnick wants to keep him at the club and he's reluctant to let him go. And since he's come out saying that so many times, Ragnick has to come out and give him a starting run of games. Do what he did once he came into the uh, team and do what exactly what he did with Alex Tellez and Diogo Dolo. We know that he doesn't fancy Luke Shaw. And he gave Alex Tellez a run of form and Alex Tellez took it and played very well in my personal opinion. And he did the exact same with Diogo Dolo. Dolo never had game time, never had consistency and then he gave him a run of game time. And he's by far our best right back in my opinion right now. And you got to do the same with Donny van de Beek. Ralph Ragnick has switched to a three in the midfield like of Fred McTominay and Bruno Fernandez. But Donny van de Beek is one of the pieces missing for me in that midfield. A midfielder who is quick, who is able to run with the ball, who can play a pass, who can spray the ball, who can take the ball from the back line and play it forward. An energetic, exciting young midfielder who can score goals, provide assists, move up the pitch, help defensively. Donny van de Beek is the full package and a guy I think we're missing. Of course, we need a defensive midfielder, but Donny van de Beek, I do believe, can suit and play right beside that defensive midfielder. Donny van de Beek needs time, but in the tweet that Fabrizio did say earlier on, he comes out with this little line here. Man United are not accepting any loan with buy option proposal. They want Donny van de Beek to be in the team for season 22-23. So maybe... For me, I understand that we want him, he wants game time, he wants to get in the World Cup set up, of course, of course he wants that, and he wants to play, I do understand that, Ragnick needs to play him, he needs to give him game time immediately, that has to happen now, but you also got to look at what's being said from Fabrizio Romano, we know he's a reliable and he wouldn't put anything out there to um, really diminish his reputation, so what he puts out there is fact, and what he says by Man United want him in the season for 22-23. That shows me that the next manager wants to use him or has an idea on how to use him or would like to get him into the side. Whether it be Ten Hag or whether it be Mauricio Pochettino. For me, it's going to be one of those two. Ten Hag, of course, is going to use Van de Beek because he knows how to use him perfectly. But that's a key factor there that we're not going to lose him. I love Van de Beek and I want him to play. But I want him to get football and to play the game he loves to enjoy. For me, I think Crystal Palace would be a great loan for him. Of course, I love Crystal Palace. I love everything Patrick Vieira is doing. He's smashing it, doing an amazing job. Of course, there's been ups and downs throughout the season for Crystal Palace, but that was always going to happen with a younger team. Like I said, Connor Gallagher has been fantastic. Could you imagine a midfielder, Donny van de Beek and Connor Gallagher? That would be an unbelievably energetic, dynamic midfield. That would be so fun to watch. Personally, for me, I don't want to see Donny van de Beek leave in this window. I don't want to see him go out alone. I'd love to see Ragnick stay true to his word, keep him at the club, and 
to God, give him some games because holy crap, he needs game time and holy man, is he better than McTominay and Fred combined with one leg. But do I think he's going to go on loan? I really do not think he will unless we bring in another midfielder and then Ragnick says you can go out and loan. But it is going to be very interesting to see what happens. Like Fabrizio said, this is up to Donny van de Beek and he will decide his favorite straight loan solution in the next hours or days. So it could be a loan and Donny van de Beek could have the decision all up to himself. Crystal Palace, I think, would be the perfect spot. Show that he's got it in the Premier League. Show that he can do it with a good side in the Premier League that are doing great things. I think that'd be a perfect move for him if he does get it. I'd love him to stay. And if he does go on loan, please be Crystal Palace because it's a team I do enjoy watching. It's a team I have so many subscribers from. And it's a team where I think he could really show what he's got and show how he can do it in the Premier League. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Drop a like. And I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down below. It's so fun interacting and talking with you guys. Make sure to hit that sub button. You guys are smashing it. And I can't wait to hit 400 soon. It'll be amazing. Let me know if you guys want to start a Discord server. I'd love to keep in contact with you guys and talk about everything football in the Discord server. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about the Donny van de Beek, the Discord, everything down below going on in the world of transfers. Seven days left till the window closes. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.